when you hear David Lammy calling somebody a Nazi because they don't believe in, you know, a customs union, <coughs> it's ridiculous. You know, m my father is a Holocaust survivor. You know, he was, you know, he was a child in Poland. He was taken to a, you know, a prison camp in Siberia. He saw family of his, you know, shot in the square purely because of his religion for no other reason. That is Nazism. And you completely devalue it when you just throw around these terms willy-nilly. It completely, you know, I say it totally devalues it. And, you know, we, you know, I don't know how we change it, but we have to change that. I think the language and the temperature of the language has changed. And again, I come back to what I said before. I think so much of that is driven by social media. It's interesting. I, I, I was at um, an event, uh, a reception at the, uh, the House of Commons about six months ago, and Rachel Riley was there. Um, she was giving a, a speech about anti-Semitism. And I was having this discussion with her, and I said, you know, I think one of the big problems is, you know, the anonymity in social media. Don't you agree? Um, and she was saying, well, she used to agree with that. And uh, people used to attack her, and, you know, the, 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 there was no real name. It was just a picture of a cat or a cartoon character or whatever. But she said, in recent months, people are not afraid to put their actual names there now. You know, it's empowered them. The fact that they've got away with it, they're now putting their actual names. And to say, I don't know how we stop it, but it's, it's taking us to, I think, quite a dangerous place.